here, you should request room 204. This is the haunted one. Even Miley Cyrus, baby, she posted on Twitter. She stayed here and she met the ghost. True story. Then I think we should run. I'm in Savannah, Georgia, a lovely historic city, famous for the greenery everywhere. Savannah is known as America's first planned city. It has a series of grids mixing wide open avenues with public parks and public squares. It is really beautiful. I've seen quite a few planned cities, but never one that has a square every two, three blocks. And these squares are surrounded by fantastic houses. Now, a lot of people don't see much of the city because when they come here, they only focus on the entertainment side. As you can walk around with alcohol on the streets in the historic district. Just in case you're not American, this is very unusual for our US city. Many people prefer hanging close to the river in the north of the city. That's where most pubs are located and they can have fun going from one to the next. But in that case, they miss the rest of Savannah. In this video, we're going to walk around the historic district, east, west, and south, to show you some beautiful houses, points of interest, and haunted places. This wind starts, feels kind of creepy. Hello again from Savannah, Georgia. In my previous video, we covered the main tourist area in town, River Street. There's a lot to do there, so many things that could go on and on. But uh, there's actually a lot more to see in Savannah, so in this video, you can expect everything else except River Street. No, I'm just kidding. It would take a while to show everything you can do here in Savannah. Plus, they have a lot of museums that we're not gonna visit because we're focusing on outdoor activities until things get back to normal. I'm actually bringing you on a walk to show you what could you do if you simply decide exploring the city at your own pace. Here we are at Johnson Square. This is the first square in town. Typically, in early colonial days, you'd normally have certain buildings around the square, like a church, some public stores. And here's the church. This is Christ Church from 1733. First church in Georgia. This is the year when Savannah was founded. But one thing that you see in many of the squares is a central monument like this. And these can be more than just monuments. There's often someone important buried underneath. And honestly, there could be people buried everywhere in the historic center. A number of popular restaurants, shops, and even homes are built over old cemeteries, and the bodies remain on the ground. They are also hidden and abandoned underground tunnels connecting the city, but they're all closed for safety reasons. No wonder this is considered the most haunted city in America. Two of their traditional cemeteries here are even among the top things to see. This is Wright Square, the second square ever built, just after the one where we were. What does it say over there? Gordon. <laughs> Did you build that for me? <laughs> I'm not deserving of it yet. <laughs> oh, I like it's a nice neighborhood for it too. <laughs> it put me in a good spot. Actually, he was a very important businessman here. Gordon was actually William Washington Gordon. He was the founder of Georgia's railroad, and this monument symbolizes the progress, you know, prosperity of the world at the time. You should see your face here, like in disbelief. <laughs> Now you may wonder, why so many squares? You know, were they really environmentally conscious back then? Probably not. Georgia was planned to be a military buffer between South Carolina and Florida that belongs to Spain. And the main purpose of a square was to organize troops fast, you know, in case of an attack. Who's buried at the square here is the leader of the Indian tribe that was based here before the British arrived. This is the memorial to the leader of the tribe, Tomo Chichi. They had really good relations, you know, the Indians and the British settlers here. And because of that, Savannah flourished. They didn't have all the hard time and the wars the other colonies and the natives faced. This here is Booth Street. It's the same street we came from. We came from back there, from Johnson Square. Here we are at Wright Square. And if you continue walking this way, 
you're gonna see a lot more beautiful squares in nature. Some of the most beautiful places in town are concentrated right along here. So Gordon, she was another Gordon. No, there's only one Gordon. She was another Gordon. Only me. <laughs> she was the granddaughter of that gentleman in the square. Oh yeah? Yes, the Gordons have a history in Savannah. Oh, look at that house, big. Mr. Gordon from the square, he was the grandpa of a lady who heavily influences girls to this day, Julia Gordon Lowe. In 1912, she founded Girl Scouts. This is an organization to empower girls and promote self-confidence, leadership, among other things. And very close to the square, you can see her birthplace. The house is now a museum, and you can learn about the Girl Scouts and also have a glimpse of life here one century ago. A lot of these house museums are already open. You can come here for a visit. They just encourage you to make a reservation in advance. In addition to the squares, you can also see amazing avenues like this. It's like you're walking and driving through tunnels of trees. This is Chippewa Square. This is where a famous scene from the movie Forrest Gump was shot. But guess what? There's no bench. It confuses a lot of people. There has never been a bench here. That was just Hollywood. When you make it to a new square, make sure you read all the information they have like this. It's all over and you have a free history class. This is the oldest continuously operating theater in the United States. And it looks like some of the people that have performed here or worked here have never left the building. Strange occurrences have been reported here since 1895. It's open. Oh, all of a sudden this wind starts. It even feels kind of creepy. It's open. No. <laughs> I wouldn't go either. Ghost stories like this are all over Savannah, especially at some inns and hotels. This is Broughton Street. It's a street famous for all the restaurants, bars, a lot of shopping you can do here too. If you have no idea where to eat, just come here. You'll probably find something. We're back at this area to eat in front of one of the most haunted hotels in town. And we're eating right here. <laughs> This hotel was a hospital during the Civil War, and many people say that they see things, you know, they see soldiers, they hear cries, they smell things, faucets open on their own. Better focus on the food across the street. I think I see a ghost did open the blinds and close them. <laughs> I think that's a guess, baby. <laughs> this is actually a selling point here. It's why many people choose to stay here. That's for me. Got it. Yes, thank you. And for you, sir. Excellent, Probably thank you. Too. Thank, thank you. you. Look at this, this is so unique. This is a cone, fish cone. Wow, wow. Fried fish with a house sauce. Mmm. What do you got there? Shrimp. Shrimp what? Po' boy. Po' boy, so what's in the sandwich? Shrimp, tomato, lettuce. Okay. Well, I'm curious here, just to know if this Waffle is sweet. A little bit, a little bit sweet, because it's really a waffle. <laughs> Very interesting combination here. There's a reason that as soon as you sit here, they come and immediately put a lot of napkins for you, because they tell you, you're going to get dirty. <laughs> It is very good. Mm -hmm. Very soft. Mm -hmm. The crust wasn't thick. Yes, it is really good. It's got Cajun fries too. They're a little spicy. It's very tasty. Good food and actually very affordable. Mm -hmm. After we filmed the first vlog here at River Street, we were walking back through this street, Broughton Street. We passed in front of this famous ice cream shop called Leopold's, and there's this huge line, like always. This is the most famous ice cream shop in town, and there's always a line here, 40, 50 people ahead of you. This is crazy. We looked at each other and said, oh my God, you know, we want to try this ice cream because it is so famous, but we don't want to spend an hour here in line. So we looked at each other and said, we're going to have ice cream at nine in the morning. Got back to the hotel, looked at their site, but they only open at noon. 
But then we discover something totally amazing. You can order online. They have all the traditional flavors, just don't have the seasonal ones. But for us, it was perfect because we wanted the traditional anyways. This was the most amazing thing. You even feel like you're doing something wrong when you pass in front of everyone. You are. You are. <laughs> I didn't even look at people to see if they were looking straight at me. And when you get inside, there's a guy with a table, and you just give your name, your order is ready. He just give it to you, like this. <laughs> Process. I didn't wait anything. I already loved the ice cream, even before trying. <laughs> That's cool. Lemon custard. We read online that this is the same original recipe since 1919. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's old. Let's taste the ice cream, see if it's old. Mmm. <laughs> good. Still good. Yeah. <laughs> I never had a lemon ice cream. It is actually good. Mm -hmm. Very creamy, right? Yeah. Mine is strawberry and butter pecans with pecans from Georgia. So I wanted to get something local. Mmm. So creamy. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not the best ice cream I've ever prepared. We won't hire you for an ice cream shop. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll break this spoon here. You know, it's a plastic spoon. Now you tell me, baby. Wasn't this a good idea? Absolutely. <laughs> would you stay an hour there? No. <laughs> I don't think I would either. Well, the ice cream is delicious. It, uh, it is worth it. But we still got a lot to see and a lot we can cover in an hour. I've got something very important to tell you. You cannot put the ice cream cone in your back pocket on a Sunday. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay. What face is that? I'm waiting for the punchline <laughs> to the joke. No punchline and no joke. Okay. This is the law here. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a law. It's a law. What about Monday? On Monday, you can. It's just Sunday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have some outdated laws here, and today they just became funny. Yeah. <laughs> Who puts an ice cream cone in the back pocket? Well, obviously some people do. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, let's see if it fits and it's empty, okay? So you won't get dirty. <laughs> but don't do that on a Sunday, huh? No. Or a Monday. <laughs> Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, the most valuable information, you have to order in advance, ideally the day before. Yesterday I tried placing an order, but they only had availability for pickup today. So that's what I did. If you're already in line and you try to place an order, it's not gonna work, too late. That was amazing, huh? Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Bob's your uncle, I'm saying it's your aunt. No idea what we're talking about? Watch the previous video. You can visit some of these historical houses here. This, for example, is a museum. Here, you should request room 204. This is the haunted one. Even Miley Cyrus, baby, she posted on Twitter. She stayed here and she met the ghost. True story. Then I think we should run. It looks like a haunted place, huh? Absolutely. I see the ghost coming through on the camera. This is a historic inn, and guests here have reported hearing voices of kids when there are no kids as guests, and also the sensation that someone is touching them at night. You think this looks like a haunted house? No, baby, this doesn't. The other one looks way scarier than this one. This looks really nice. Many of these squares are so quiet like this. No traffic or anything. It's amazing. You see this here? It's everywhere in town, hanging from the trees. This is called Spanish moss, but it isn't Spanish and it isn't a moss. But it's related to pineapple. Yes, that's true. Both absorb water and nutrients from the air. Go figure, huh? The old police car here in Savannah. Now, what car this is, no idea. No name in the back. 1953 yeah. Chevrolet what? I don't know, Malibu. Next to the police department, you find Colonial Park Cemetery. Needless to say, it is haunted. During the Civil War, Union soldiers supposedly moved headstones, changing names and dates. This angered the spirits of those resting here. 
and talking about ghosts, you may also find many at this restaurant, the Pirate's House from 1754. Too much drinking, fighting, and possibly killing happened here. Look at this house. Yeah. They don't even let you look in the windows. This place is so haunted. <laughs> We're now arriving at one of the coolest places in town. This is the Savannah City Market, which is more than a market. You know, it's a pedestrian-only area with restaurants, cafes, and bars on both sides for two full blocks. It is really, really cool. And there are attractions here as well. There's the Prohibition Museum here. It's the only one in the United States. And I will check out next time I'm back here in Savannah. And night there's live music here. Baby, what's more impressive? The city market has been here since 1755. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't wow. it amazing? That's old. Yeah. This is the oldest black church in North America from 1777. This church was considered a safe house for the enslaved Africans. If they made it here, they would probably be safe. To go to the basement, there are holes on the floor, and those were hiding places. There are so many more characteristics, so many more details. I'd love to see them in person to be able to share with you, but the church is closed. The church continues fully online. Stay up all night, the drummer here mm -hmm. went on to become a leader of uh, Haiti. Oh, really? The king of Haiti. Wow. First has a state's African descent in Western Hemisphere. Hmm. Oh, wow. Another haunted place here, and this one is booming. Have you noticed one thing in common among most of the places that we've been that are haunted? Yeah, we only went during the day. During the Not day? Not spooky time. Yes, yes, of course. But also there were mostly hotels, right? Except for this one. Yeah, but this was a hotel. Oh, this was to, okay. Today it's a brewing company, but it was a hotel. So don't stay in hotels in Savannah. <laughs> Only Airbnbs. And us. We're staying in a hotel. Uh-oh. We're not in we're not Savannah. We're not staying not downtown Savannah. Savannah. We're not no, no, staying no. downtown Savannah. No, 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 no. We stayed at the Best Western Premier near I-985 and the airport. Just like in Charleston, hotels downtown in our price range were fully booked. What are you looking, baby? You wanna go in? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Wanna say hello to I'm them? Scared. <laughs> Stay away. There are several ghost tours you can do here in Savannah to learn all about these stories. Acting crazy like we used to do. Oh, look at everyone picnicking here. This is so nice. I probably saved the best for last. This is Forsyth Park. It's like the Central Park of Savannah. And this here is a very famous fountain that you see everywhere, in every blog post and every video about Savannah. Very distinct areas here in this park. And this park is huge. It's massive. This is also a space for concerts and events. There's a stage right here. This playground is huge. Not the typical playground you see in a park. Savannah could have been totally destroyed during the Civil War. But when the troops arrived here, they saw all this beauty, all this lush green. They were very surprised, you know, they were really, really amazed. Then their commander contacted the president at the time, it was Lincoln, and told him that they were sparing Savannah. It was his Christmas gift. 